Hey, and welcome back to the Shy Rise Show, sponsored by the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. It's such a pleasure to be here once again. Uh, we were off for the holidays. Hope everyone enjoyed themselves and played it safe for the holidays and got a chance to see friends and family and everybody had a good time. No family fights and none of that stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just as a reminder, we are the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, uh, located at 7039 South Wentworth Avenue. Our website is www.inglewoodenterprisegallery.com. And our email is enterprisegallery at gmail.com. And you can always reach us by phone, 773-719-9848. All right, it's such an honor to be back. Uh, as uh, always, my name is uh, Mr. Medina, the director of the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. And I have my friend here, Miss Erica D., Hello. who is joining us today. Hi. All right, and uh, Erica D is actually one of the uh, queens of podcasting out there, so <laughs> I thought it would be nice to have her on the show and get a chance to hear more about what it is that she does out there in the world. So thank you for joining us, Miss Erica D. It's no always problem. a pleasure. Thank you for having me. No problem, no problem. Well, uh, you know, I, I always like to start out by telling you a little bit about the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. We are a, uh, an art gallery and a creative co-working space located in the Inglewood neighborhood. We're all about business, arts, creativity, and community development. We love to engage community partners, other organizations in the Inglewood neighborhood, and the greater Chicagoland area so that we can continue to come together and come up with great ideas how to solve the problems that we have in our neighborhoods. And one of the ways that we do that is through arts and creativity. So thank you for joining us. Also, I always like to give you an idea of some of the great things that we find ourselves doing at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. This is one of our latest public artwork projects located at 63rd and Halsted. If you ever find yourself on the south side at the corner of 63rd and Halsted and you see this great work of art out there and you see these lovely young ladies out there enjoying this beautiful artwork that they saw, keep us in mind. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. Yes, that is us. Uh, public art projects, uh, gallery exhibitions, art tours, all types of wonderful things that we have going on at the gallery. And we always enjoy the opportunity to share that with you, the community and the Chicagoland area. All right, so thank you for joining us again. Thank you, Miss Erica D. And I am going to go right into some interesting things about my wonderful guest here today, Miss Erica D. Erica D. has a uh, podcasting show called The Erica D. Show uh, on blogtalkradio.com slash Erica with a K, E-R-I-C-K-A-D-E-E. -E. Yes. Great, yes. great, Perfect. great. So <laughs> what is your show all about, Miss Erica D.? Well, first, I want to thank you for the opportunity of coming on here and being able to share this moment and yes. share information with everyone out there. But um, uh, in a nutshell, I, it's a platform for people to be able to express themselves. Um, it's also another way for people who may not be exposed to something to become exposed. People are very interesting. Mm. Um, and so I just like to have different people from different walks of life to come in, have a conversation and, you know, as organic as possible, let's see how you got there. Let's see what your past was to make you what you are presently. And let's see what we can do going forward. Um, mm. it's, it's a fun show. It's fun. Cool. Cool. That sounds interesting. I mean, yeah. I must say I have had the pleasure of being interviewed by you yes. and I had a great time on the show. Yes. Uh, another good thing about the show is that the format that it utilized it allows you to have interviews with people pretty much anywhere in the world is that correct that is true that is true that's the fun part um, because I can be in a car 
I can be, the person can be wherever, and we can still talk and communicate, and um, it doesn't take too much from their busy schedule. And usually the shows last about 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I've had people on lunch breaks who have been able to call in, and we just have a, a quick conversation. The time goes by so fast. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool, it's fun. cool. Yeah, this, uh, this technology, man, it's always advancing, and it really gives uh, us the little people you know, the opportunity to do great things, you know, with with just the push of a button. You yeah. know, you got people going live, you got people uploading, you got people going viral, you know, you got people becoming millionaires in a matter of seconds. It's, it's just very interesting. I always like to encourage uh, my children and young people, you know, we uh, get so caught up in uh, all of the fun attributes of using our phones and our devices and stuff and we forget that um, these are powerful tools at the palm of our hands yeah. you know while most people spend their time trying to find Pokemon or beat their high score <laughs> you know or crush some candy or something like that you got other people uh, designing mobile apps and they are uh, you know creating uh, virtual events and yeah. they're having virtual interviews with people all the way in China possibly yeah. You know, so let's always <clears throat> work to stay engaged and cutting edge. You know, we are in the information age. And, you know, there used to be a time when to get some information to somebody, you know, uh, it would take weeks and months, sometimes years, yeah. to send a, a letter to the other side of the earth, right? And now we're able to do it within seconds. That's true. We are able to exchange information at an alarming exponential rate and I think that that can only cause us to continue to mentally as well as physically and spiritually evolve yeah. you know the more that we can transfer information and the more that we can network it also helps bring people together you know so that it is harder for people to be segregated and secluded mm -hmm. as a matter of fact I don't have all the details right now but I just recently read an article how they want to give the whole world internet yeah. I, yeah, I have seen that. I, I think uh, maybe it's drones. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to be using. Matter of fact, if there's anybody out there listening who has some information about this or has time to Google, please call in 312-738-1060. Mm -hmm. um, and, and tell us more about that. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I was watching on TV, and it looks like they are planning to launch drones that can stay in the sky uh, offer solar power for very prolonged periods of time, wow. all right? And these drones would be able to let people in the remote places on Earth, mm -hmm. hey, take selfies and send them to their <laughs> friends. You wow. know? It's wow. Amazing. They can go live in the jungle, you yeah. know, <laughs> or in the Amazon, wherever they're at. They can go live on the back of a camel, you know? But that that's the world that we're moving to, you know? Mm -hmm. Um People in remote places might not have shoes for their feet, but they'll be able to find Pokemon, you know. <laughs> so um, let's just try to stay future forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. And don't let this technology get out of hand, but, but always be mindful. It's just like a book. People use certain books for good or for bad, you right. know. So the same thing with this technology and these tools that they continue to develop to put in our hands, you know. We have to keep a proper perspective and don't let these things get out of hand because at the end of the day, you are the one that's in control, you know. Psychologists are even examining nowadays how people are becoming addicted to their uh, mobile devices. I can imagine. Know? Because you, you know, um, it engages you in a way where your body produces certain types of uh, hormones and um, serotonin, and all, serotonin that, yeah. and all of that major scientific stuff that make you feel good, almost like doing a drug, you know, yeah. or, or, or anything else. So, you know, we just have to be mindful of that. And it's always good to be balanced with things, right. you know. It's not that these devices are necessarily bad, but we want to be balanced and also work on keeping a healthy mind state. You know, and you also have to remember that you will be what you feed your mind. Mm. That was a very good book that my father put me up onto as a very young, young man, like a teenager, you know, and it really helped influence the rest of my life. But it was called As a Man Thinker, mm. you know, and okay. pretty much it examines how you 
are what you think. You know, I am that I believe I am. And if you don't believe that you are worthy, then you will not be worthy. But if you believe that you are worthy of certain things, then you will achieve those things and you will continue to achieve what you set out to achieve. So you always want to feed your mind, your mind with the right things, with healthy things, just like your body. Because we must be of people of a healthy mind, body, and spirit. Hey, that reminds me of one of our little sayings at the gallery. Mm. It's not just a place. It's a state of mind. I know a lot okay. of times I come on the show talking a bunch of whole, uh, a whole lot of heavy mental stuff. Okay. But to me, art is a tool that we use to continue to stimulate our minds. So when I talk about art and creativity, it just stimulates my mind in that way. But back to you, Sister Erica. Yes. And thank you again for joining us. <laughs> no I, problem. I wanted to talk to you more about that Erica D. show because I know that you were telling me about some of the great, interesting guests that you have had on the oh, show. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've had a lot um, of guests from, I'm originally from the, the Michigan area. So okay. I have a lot of guests from Michigan as well as Chicago. So there are a lot of local people. I've all, also dealt with um, people who are out of the state. Yes. I haven't quite yet gotten to out of the country, but um, we're working on it. Right, We're working on right, it. Definitely Cuba, yet. we coming that way. All right, <laughs> get us some nice housing, and you know all of that set up. We coming. But um, some of the people that I have uh, had interviews with who are very interesting are uh, are Chicago's very own Oprah King, mm. um, Nikki B, and Skin and Waxing in Flint, Michigan. Okay, I've also spoken with New Era Detroit. Oh, um, cool. Keith. Uh, Horton and uh, we had a really good conversation and all the different programs that they provide there in that community and all the traveling that they've been doing uh, this week coming up on Wednesday I'll be speaking with New Era Chicago Ronnie Man cool. so there's there's tons of people that I've talked to uh, Grandmaster D of uh, Houdini wow. yeah for all you Houdini. old school hip hop heads out the there millennials you know about might that. not know who that is yeah. we ain't talking about no magic tricks let's <laughs> talk about magic on wax right Houdini and That's he an still got it so yes. that was very interesting um, we've I've had artists you know it's just a wide range of, of people who do different things one of my um, one of my passions is real estate um, mm. I'm not the best person in real estate so when I do interview with these people and talk with them we're talking like on an organic level like hey I have no idea of what to do <laughs> so I'm a representative of all of my listeners except for those who do call in you know and and feed us with more information but uh, we've had uh, several of those people I've interviewed them cool. um, Floyd Mills just the other week we mm. uh, had our interview this week as a matter of fact on Wednesday um, and it, the list goes on and on. Um, and January's uh, going to start off an exciting year for us. Yes. So um, I, I would encourage everyone to listen. Um, the Erica D Show does come on on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern and 12 p.m. Central. Um, it's on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Erica, E-R-I-C-K-A-D-E-E. -E -E. Um, you can listen to it through the computer that way, or you can call in, and the number to call in just to listen or ask a question is 657-383-1613, and it's 657-383-1613. So there, we, I've been having tons of fun with this. Yes. So, um, yes. and we also spoke with Mr. Medina here. Yeah. And he let everyone know about the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, and I'm, I'm a big arts artsy person and I, I love the arts and this is one of my passions I've loved this ever since I was a little kid I don't want to embarrass my brother I used to interview him <laughs> um, and you know and interview myself in the mirror so mm -hmm. now like you said technology has come so far now yes. whereas back then I don't want to age myself but I had to push play and record at the same time on a cassette <laughs> um, and now I can pick up the phone and I can go into my virtual studio and I can program all my music and have my guests on and, and have an exciting show. So it's the guests are wonderful. They're the ones that, that fuel the whole podcast. Yes, yes, man. That yeah. sounds awesome, sis. Yeah. Um, it is very important that we continue to promote ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so much awesome stuff. Now, you are from Flint? Flint, Michigan. All right. Flint, Michigan. Now, right now, ain't nobody heard nothing about Flint but bad water. But here this sister come with some positive stuff 
that she's been dealing with ever since a young child. Yeah. We need more positive stuff to come out. Yeah. There's a uh, African proverb, and I don't want to hack it up, so I don't want no elders <laughs> calling in, chastising me over the phone. But it goes something like, until the the lion writes his own story, okay. the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. Okay. All right. So uh, I hope I ain't messed that one up. I hope it made sense. But it looks like we might have a caller. Wow, I'm surprised. All right, first day back after the holidays. Go on and pass yes. that caller through. Yes. My question is this. As you're talking about different venues coming in Inglewood and different businesses, how can these different businesses come in when we got a real serious aggressive panhandling situation when I don't know how tall some people, I'm about... 6'2", and I may have some guy 6'3", looking down off, down at me, asking me for money, and I just came out of the Dunkin' Donuts there, and they looked at me as a private, well, you can buy Dunkin' Donuts, why you can't give me money, and how you hope to have these different venues come in the area? Mm. Mm. Well, it's not a hope, my brother, it's a reality, because uh, my business, actually, since you mentioned that, alright, let me just... Do this right quick before they get mad at me. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, all right? We are located at 7039 South Wentworth Avenue. Phone number 773-719-9848. Our website is www, of course, Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. Dot com. I just gonna say this one last bit before I hit out the door. When you look at other places, like you're talking about your gallery and stuff, but guess what? In Miss Lily White neighborhood, they don't tolerate that stuff. They move them along. They, matter of fact, they would pick them up and, and move them. But they don't do that over here in our neighborhood. But like I said, when you talking about the arson things coming in our neighborhood, yes. then how are we going to have that when they don't when they get Miss Lily White neighborhood certain types of service yes. and certain type of priority? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not sure about Lily White if we're talking about laundry <laughs> or if we're talking about how clean the streets is. And I ain't trying to pick nobody up and move them, my brother. You know what I'm saying? But what I like to do is engage them with beauty and creativity. Speaking of beauty and creativity, let me pull this up right there while I give you my spin on that. That was an excellent point. And what we do at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, which is located in Inglewood, is we try to raise the level of vibration of people's mind state using creativity. All right. We also like to promote to them small business development. So we're not just trying to encourage people to go out and get a job because you get that job. You won't need the panhandle right. no matter how tall you are. I'm only five, eight, you know, five, nine on a good day. But, you know, I got people that's tall out there, you know, shaking me down for change, too. I got to tell them, hey, I got three children. I can't afford to feed you and them. So we got to do better. But what I can do is say, hey. Come check out the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery where we're doing positive stuff. Sister Erica D. right here has a business format that virtually costs her nothing, but maybe a monthly fee to run her blog talk show, and she's able to get influence all across this globe. All right? They're giving out free government phones, and they done upgraded to the smartphone out there on the street right now, yeah. daily. They're looking for people to give phones away. All you need is the right mind state and a phone, and you in business. If you connect the right information, because we in the information age. I feel you, brother. Panhandling is a serious situation. But the way to stop it is that we need to move these jobs around. But we know that the jobs are short, so we got to move around the right information to help people empower themselves. All right, I'm going to give you a prime example. You got the bucket boys out there. Now, when I was that age, I was a, a grocery boy. They didn't have the bucket boys around. I, you know, that's something new. But I was a grocery boy, so I would help people to their car with grocery carts. And that little interaction inspired me to grow and become an entrepreneur today to help inspire others. You know, it's like a pay it forward type of thing. Okay, so when you see somebody out there, you know, begging, they, that's probably they hustle. They might be a professional beggar or they might be really down on their luck. You really don't know what their mind state is and none of us are in a position to judge. But what you can do is let's pay it forward. Let's deliver to them some information that can be helpful. Let's tell them something positive. Excuse me. That may help them brighten their day. Their day. That may open up their third eye so that they can see something that they didn't see yesterday. 
You know, panhandling, yeah, it's a serious issue. But I'm going to tell you what. I be in Hyde Park. I be on the north side. I be on the west side. It's people begging everywhere. Yes. All right? It's a... It's a, uh, it's a woman right there on 39th Street in a wheelchair, you know. She not African-American, but she begging everybody every day just like everybody else, all right? So it's, it's not a racial thing because you got poor people and homeless people in all communities, all right? couple other things before we get off the air. I appreciate that caller, and we need more great interaction like that. I just want to remind y'all who we are and what we're about. We got my girl Erica D. right here at blogtalkradio.com forward slash Erica with a K, E-R-I-C-K-A-D-E-E. -E. Mm -hmm. Erica D. All right. Um, Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. That's us. 7039 South Wentworth. Uh, www.inglewoodenterprisegallery.com and you can uh, email us at Inglewood, I mean, I'm sorry, at enterprisegallery at gmail.com. One other thing, before it's all over with, just wanted to show you some of the things that we're working on right quick. And, you know, to, to piggyback off of what you said to the, um, you know, to the, the caller, you've got so many programs that are planned and in the works that this person may be drawn to come into the gallery and get some of the benefits that the gallery is giving to the community. Yes. Because this is actually like, um, like he said, this is a, a, a working space. This is also, you know, a place where they could come down and, and, and network and, yes. and interact with people. And there's a lot of different programs that you've got set up that for the next year that panhandling in that area which i haven't actually seen since i've been over there um in this particular area yes it would be a thing of the past like you said if you give them the knowledge they can take that knowledge and go somewhere else right and then or join the network and and help so that there is no more panhandling yes so you're absolutely you know right sis uh each one reach one or like like uh malcolm x used to say each one teach one if i got my my parables right you know i'm kind of bad with Matching it all together, but I know y'all call in and set me straight if I messed it up. We only got a few more minutes, y'all, and I don't want to talk y'all ear off, but I appreciate Sister Erica D. dropping down the science. Also, for um, those that would like to promote what you're doing, if you're doing some community development, if you want to promote your business, I'm going to let her give you the number one more time so you can get arranged to be uh, on the Erica D. Show. Also, uh, we are broadcasting another show that we uh, do at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery yes. among various locations, and it's called Underground Heat. Yes. I just showed you the commercial of it. That's some stuff that we're working on. And uh, we uh, we would like to encourage you to come out and get involved at the gallery. Like you say, Sister Erica D., I ain't had nobody panhandle me over yeah. there, at least at my spot, which is in Inglewood. Yeah. All right. Uh, I might have had a couple people ask me for a loose square, but I don't smoke. So that yeah. don't really bother me. You know, if the shoe fits, wear it. And yeah. I, the shoe wasn't fitting, so. But it wasn't no problem. Yeah. You know, sometimes we have clothing giveaway, giveaways. Uh, a few other things coming up. Let me hurry up before they shut me down. <laughs> Next Friday. All right, we have an African spirituality class at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. You can get more information about it at our website. Okay, that's at 6 p.m. We're going to be dealing with uh, some Ife and Yoruba and other, other African spiritual concepts to broaden our horizons and our understanding of uh, different sciences that are out there that we may not be aware of to enhance ourselves and our minds. All right. That Saturday, next Saturday, we're having an art exhibition, an artist by the name of James the Magnificent. I forgot his last name, but I, I like his work, and I like to say magnificent okay. behind it, just like Erica D. <laughs> is the queen of podcasts. We got to big up ourselves. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Put a little extra on it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes. Okay, and then... Next Sunday, we're going to be launching something that we're doing for the month of December called Self-Study Sundays. Yes, I said study self. It ain't like school. You are the university, like my mind university. We're going to be showing you how to tap into your mind, tap into your spirit, and become a better person and upgrade yourself. All right? So, Self-Study Sundays. 
But you can check all of this out if you like us on Facebook, okay, Inglewood Enterprise Gallery on Facebook. You got Erica D on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. You got the Erica D Show on Facebook. I got 20 more seconds. Thank y'all for joining us. We appreciate it. Let's keep hope alive and keep resurrecting our communities using arts and creativity and neighborhood beautification. Any last words, Sister Eric? I uh, know if you want to contact me, it's 773 is the number, 741-1564. Uh, That's all I got. That's all we got. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Peace. Bye.